Hey, welcome back to another walking safety lesson with the Safe Ambassadors. It's Brian here, and today I'm going to teach you this technique called the lean and peak. Before I teach you the lean and peak, let's do a quick review of the last lesson you had. Last time you were with us, Chris taught you what a distracted driver was, and that's someone who's driving their car but not really paying attention to the road and their surroundings like they should be. You know, this can be someone who's sitting and texting on their cell phone. And the way that we get their attention to make sure it's safe to cross the street is just by waving our hands really big. And when they make eye contact and give us the wave that it's okay to go, then we know that it is safe to cross the street. So today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you something called the lean and peak. And we use the lean and peak because sometimes when we're out walking and we need to cross the road or maybe an alley, there are things that are in the way that block our view and we need to be able to see around them to be able to look left or right to make sure that it's safe to cross. Are there any sort of things that you can think of that would maybe block your view when you're crossing the street or trying to cross an alley? Some of the things I think of are a parked car on the street or a dumpster in the alley. These are two examples of things that block our view from being able to look left or right to make sure it's safe to cross. So we can use the lean and peek to see around these safely and then continue crossing the street while we go on our walk. Okay, so it's time that we learn to lean and peek so we can see around them. It's really actually a pretty easy thing to do. First, we need to make sure that our feet are flat on the ground and a little bit apart. Kind of just like when your teacher has you line up for class and you stand up. We don't want to be all wobbly and maybe fall over when we're doing this. What we're going to do is bend at the knees and put our hands on them. So with our knees bent, we take our left hand to our left knee and we place our right hand on our right knee. And when we do this, it's really important that we're not falling forward. Now, in order to keep from falling forward, kind of keep your head up. And if you're still having trouble staying upright, maybe ask an adult in the room to help you with this technique. So now that we're in position with our knees bent and feet flat on the ground, we can finally look around that car to make sure it's safe to cross the street. So when you're ready to look, you slowly move forward with your head turned just to peek around the edge of the car. This way we're not putting our body into the street, but we can just see around to see if there's any vehicles and make sure that it is safe to cross. That's all it takes to do the lean and peek when we need to check around an object to make sure it's safe to continue crossing the street or an alley. But there are a couple other things that I want to keep in mind when we do this. The first thing we do before we walk in front of a car is to check to see if there's a driver. If there's not a driver, you're safe to walk in front of it because we expect it not to be moving. But if there is a driver, you need to wave your hands and get their attention and wait for them to tell you that it's safe to go in front of their vehicle. The other thing is that we never walk out past the object that is blocking our view. We always stay behind it where it is safe and we are protected. If it's a parked car and when we know that it's safe to walk in front of that car, we never go completely past it because that's where we're gonna stop to do the lean and peak. So once you get to that edge, you bend your knees and this is where it's really important that we're not falling forward and we're not wobbly because we need to make sure that we stay behind the car and just peek around very slowly and very carefully. Congratulations, you've completed all seven walking safety lessons. Before you go, let's review what you've learned. We started by discussing the word transportation and how there are lots of different ways to get from place to place and walking is one of them. People choose to walk to their destination because it's fun, it's great exercise, it's good for the environment, and it's a free and easy form of transportation. Before you go for a walk, you need to ask for permission and take a walking buddy with you when you go. Your best walking buddy is someone you know and trust, someone who is bigger and taller than you, an adult, and they need to be a human. When you get outside, the safest place to walk is the sidewalk. And when you need to cross to the other side of the street, it's safest to use the crosswalk. 
when you get to the crosswalk, the first thing you do is stop. stop. Then you look to the left. left. And then you look to the right. right. And then need to check behind. behind. And one more time to the left. left. Sometimes drivers can be distracted. To get their attention, wave your arms as big as you can and wait to get a go signal. When something large is blocking your view, use the lean and peek to safely look around it to see if any traffic is coming. Now that you know the safest ways to walk outside and cross the street, you will be an important part of making your neighborhood a safer place. You are all now safe ambassadors. Congratulations. Congratulations. Practice what you've learned and teach someone you know. Who will you teach to walk and cross the street safely? Thank you for your focus and attention. This is Brian, Chris, and Emmy signing off. Remember, Walking is awesome! Stay safe and goodbye for now.